This is your world, so let's vow to make it a better place. Let every heart that needs to know you love. Welcome, 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 welcome. Listen, I'm so overjoyed by your presence here today. I don't take it lightly that you've joined me for this broadcast, and I know you won't be disappointed. We're going to continue on this journey through grace today. And listen, I want you to be in expectation. I need you to expect to be able to deal with unnecessary feelings of condemnation and all that kind of stuff. Jesus, listen, has already taken care of it. Amen. Now, I'm very excited about this next session from Grace Life Conference 2023. Today, let me tell you now, my spiritual son, Michael Smith, all right, get, get ready. I'm just trying to prepare you. Listen, he's an author, a father, a husband. You might recognize his work in addressing systematic racism, which has been awarded and cited countless times. He's also dedicated to the cause of justice, truth, family, and Jesus. Today, Mike has a word for you that you can apply to your life right now and carry on your journey forever. Get ready. Welcome, Michael Smith. John uh, chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, <clears throat> not the Bible. <laughs> In the, <laughs> in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by the Word. All things were made by God. All things were made by the Word. And without God, without the Word, was not anything made that was made. And in God, in the Word, was life, and the life was the light of men. And that light shined into darkness, and the darkness could not contain it. Drop on down to verse 14. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw His glory. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father. And when we looked at the Word, we, we remarked. When we saw the Word become human, we remarked, why? Oh, it's full of grace and truth. <clears throat> in... in um, in Second Temple Israel, right, which is, which is where this is, um, they, they stand, so, so Israel believed in this idea of oneness, right? Um, that there's one God, there's only one people of God, there's only one nation of God, there's only one family of God, there's only one law of God, there's only one temple of God. <clears throat> and they're convinced that they are the people. And they stand on a cliff, on the edge of a cliff that Genesis through Malachi defined for them where the sidewalk in. The, the road down the, uh, of truth, it ends at Malachi. And they stand on a cliff and the only thing they're waiting for now is the Messiah, right? They're waiting. And, and every time I draw Jesus, I don't draw uh, blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus. I draw dreadlock Rasta Jesus, right? That's my. <laughs> <clears throat> um, <clears throat> well, they don't know it's Jesus, right? They don't, they don't, they don't know it's him. But they're standing there and they're waiting. And they, they know there's, there's, there's no, no, no other clarity about God. There's nothing else left to know. 
It's all contained in Genesis. It's all contained in the law. It's all contained in the prophets. And, 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 and the, the, all that can be written has been written. All that can be known is known. All that will be said has been said. We have reached the end of the sidewalk. There is nothing else left. The only thing left is for God to show up and set up rulership for the one people, the one God, in the one temple, in the one land, in the one nation, and to rule from there. And everybody else better get ready, because when he shows up, say hello to my little friend. I mean, it is, I mean, we are, you know, do you want to play rough? I mean, it, it is happening right now. And it's a tense time. The first temple has been destroyed. The second temple is rebuilt. This is it. We're, we're, we're here. We're, we're waiting. And there are people, there are guardians, right? That's an old school marker. <laughs> if I use this too much, and, you know, uh, I might see the Virgin Mary over here and, and Tupac over here, but I, you know, I, I, <laughs> I'm going to say, was it a vision? No, it was just whatever's in this. I don't know. Um, and there are guardians. They're called the Pharisees. They're not bad people. They're there to protect. Protect the people. Protect the law. Protect the, 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 the land. Protect the temple. Why? They can't risk... The people getting uh, out of alignment. Not when we're so close. And people had heard it preached. Messiah is coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. And they are on edge. And they're so on edge that they're, they're, they're freaked out that, that, that I- I- anyone at any time could be the one. Which is good that they're in expectation, but it's also bad because it means a lot of them are popping up. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you have such high expectation, I was thinking about, oh, <laughs> golly, I'm getting in trouble already. I was thinking about, uh, um, ugh, I better not say that. Uh, <laughs> if you think about America's two party system, right, one, one group of Reliable voters is the most exploited group of voters in recent history. The other group is the most exploitable. Let me just chew on that for a minute. Someone say, which one is which? Well, I'll let you figure out which one. Is which. <laughs> but in an atmosphere of expectation like that, I remember one time I had been, um, and this is, this is back, you know, you think about how much, so you preached on a Wednesday, the word works. Wednesday morning. I showed up that Friday and preached Renewing the Mind. Pastor Dollar heard my sermon. He goes, Rich, you were so good on Wednesday. Mike, you were so good today. Y'all get together and preach it together Friday night. So we, everybody left the chapel. He and I joined hands. Lord, whatever you want to do, do it. And he got up and preached 45 minutes. I preached 45 minutes. And Pastor preached 45 minutes. Man, it was a time. But you know what? If you were to pick up that tape and hear, you'd be like, what is this? What? What were y'all thinking back then? <laughs> Why? Well, we've moved a lot in that time. That's only 31 years. So uh, this is in the early 90s where um, back when, when uh, in, in our Christian thinking, the devil was everywhere. I mean, the devil was in everything. The devil was in Harry Potter. The devil was in anything Procter and Gamble. Harry Potter wasn't even around. But I had an Aladdin. I had an Aladdin T-shirt because I like the movie Aladdin. They said on TVN, uh, the devil's probably in your house, and he probably came through something that has to do with magic. Next thing I know, my Aladdin T-shirt's in the trash. I'm like, Mom, what are you doing? We're getting the devil out of this house. <laughs> 
so just to give you the setting, right? So, so I mean, I'm hearing stories of, of uh, Lester Summerall and, 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 and the devil sitting down on his bed in the middle of the night, and he wakes up, and he sees the devil there, and he goes, oh, it's just you, devil, and I'm going back to sleep. Or, or Norval Hayes out in the, out in the woods, and, 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 and uh, uh, the, the spirit shows up, and he doesn't know if it's God or if it's the devil. So, he t- so I mean, I'm, I'm saturated in that. And Robert's Laird, and I mean, the devil, Benny Hinn. And, but, I mean, I remember there were intercessors. Pastor called a meeting one time. We had intercessors here. Just, you might remember this. Uh, I don't, my, 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 you guys might have been Tampa at the time. But, but uh, uh, the intercessors, they stopped the middle of the prayer because the VCR in the intercessory room clicked on, and they all said, Shandalabala. I mean, and the <laughs> devil came inside that thing. Right <laughs> so it was in the middle of this. I'm, I'm young. I mean, I'm, seven, I'm just like my kids here, you know, right? So I'm going to bed, and I'm praying, and I'm going, Satan, you're not going to harass me in my sleep, and I dare you to sit on my bed, like, in the middle of the night. I catch up. You go to sleep. Man. I clicked off my light. My room is complete dark, and, and you can't see here, but th- th- there's these clocks that are telling me how long I have left, and you know the old digital clocks, completely, but it's got those red numbers right in there. <laughs> I laid down on my bed and said, oh, watch over me tonight, and Satan, you, not. and that clock on my nightstand slid across at me in the darkness. <laughs> I mean, I jumped up, I bind you, Satan. I mean, I mean, lights down and my sisters are sleeping. They start screaming. I mean, I'm binding Satan. You get out of here. And I, I'm binding Satan while I'm backing up and clicking on the light, right? <laughs> so it's a, I wish this wasn't a true story, but you know what it was? When I turned on the light, I realized my pillow had fallen off my bed <laughs> and had hit the alarm cord. The alarm, and, and when it hit the cord, it slid the thing over. <laughs> But you know what? When, 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 you're, when, when your spirit is wide open. Yeah. What does C.S. Lewis say? Two different groups of people. Those who pay too little attention to the devil and those who pay way too much. So there's so much expectation that people are popping up and saying, I'm who you've been waiting on. John the Baptist pops up and it says, they all wondered, could he be the one? And he said, no, 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 I'm not the one and I'm not claiming to be the one, but the one is coming. And so now he shows up and the Pharisees aren't evil, they're not bad. Why? Because if Israel gets deceived and falls in deception and starts following something that doesn't line up with Genesis through Malachi, they run the risk of God saying, you know what, I thought you were ready, but you're not, you're going back to Babylon, take another lap. The Assyrians are going to come up, take another lap, because that's what they thought. They thought in their brain that when, 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 uh, when, <laughs> when we had a good harvest, we must, be, we must be fulfilling Genesis through Malachi. When we don't have a good harvest, man, what are we doing wrong? When the enemies leave us alone, we must be fulfilling Genesis through Malachi. When the Assyrians roll through, when the Babylonians roll through, right? When, 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 when the Egyptians roll through, oh man, we must have done something wrong. They interpreted everything through the lens of, if we're Genesis through Malachi, then it's good, and if it's not. So the Pharisees are like, we love God. We look at the Word all the time. We take it seriously, and we will not afford, even if it means we have to shed blood to keep our nation from being deceived, we will do so out of loyalty to God. (laughs) And in the beginning, God, not not a guy, not an old guy sitting on the throne. God's not, God's not a person. God's not a man. God's not, God's not, doesn't have, that's that's not, the God's a man. I mean, you don't, you don't think you see on the throne and up under his robe he's got, you know, parts. You don't think. I mean, we, we, well, that's how I was always taught. Well, there's a lot of things we've been taught. But what is God? <laughs> the, the mind, right? The source. The order. The origin. Of all that is. Uh, the, 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 the sans cosmic, if there never was a beginning. The trans cosmic, if it's a universe, a multiverse, an omniverse, the, all that is, 
not before all that is, even without an idea of before. The mind, source, order. Well, well, break it down for me. I'll tell you this way. In the beginning, love created the heavens and the earth. And people now, in Second Temple Israel, that's, why, that's how people all over the world that never heard of Moses, never heard of Jesus, never, that's how they can know God. How can you possibly know God? <laughs> if you know love. That's how you can go to a place where they never heard of Jesus, they never heard, of, uh, uh, they never heard anything, and you can walk in and, and you can be totally surrounded by love and kindness and service and hospitality. You remember when Paul was shipwrecked on the island? And shipwrecked and they all went to shore, and it says, and the barbarous people came out of their huts. Said, y'all need some help? Get on in here. Well, come in here. We'll get you food. Get these guys some more. Get the, and they, they couldn't even speak the language, but they brought them blankets, and they brought them this, and they, they, they made them a fire, and they got them some food, and they got them some food, and they, well, here, let me help you. And they, they gave them stuff to get back on their journey. And said, well, who? You, 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 you never read Leviticus. You, 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 you never read Matthew. Said, how, how do you possibly know how to treat another human being? The same way long before there was a Bible, Joseph said, I can't sleep with his wife. That's not my wife. Well, where'd you get that from? I'm telling you, there's stuff you never heard that's deep down inside every human being that we already know to be true. I was at Union City at the, uh, what was that mall over at Union City? Uh, Shannon. I was looking at a watch, and I was looking at a watch, and there was this nice young man, and my mom and I were looking at it. She said, well, I think I might want to get you something for your birthday. So we were looking at it. So I like this one. I like that one. She said, well, we'll just see. And there was a nice young man, a nice uh, black guy helping us out, and so sweet and so nice. Yes, ma'am, and this and that, and this and that, yes, ma'am. And my mom, we, we, we got ready to leave, and he said, well, here's a card, and hold on to this, and this is this serial number. If you come back, and we'll just work it out. And my mom grabbed his hand. She said, thank you, so, young man. You've been so nice. She said, I don't know. I don't mean to offend you. She said, but we're Christians, and, and, and uh, uh, I, I don't know. You just, seem like, you just seem like you've been around the Word. You seem like you've, you've been around Jesus. You just have the fruit coming out of you. He said, oh, ma'am, you're very kind. He says, I'm a Muslim. He says, I'm, uh, I'm part of the nation of Islam. He said, but that's very kind of you to say. He says, we always purpose to treat everybody with kindness. And what's happening? A lived experience running contradictory to the conditioning of it's just us and nobody else. So into this thing of expecting the Messiah and everybody on guard that we might get a false Messiah, guess what? It says, and the Word became flesh. Or as I like to say it, love took on human form. Love took on human form. And it says that when they finally saw God, God was not at all like Genesis through Malachi told them God would be. God did not act at all like they said. As a matter of fact, they kept holding up Genesis to Malachi to God and saying, here's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and what do we see in verse 17? If we have it, maybe on the screen. Verse 17, John 1, maybe? Verse 18? I'm new. Uh. <laughs> This is what the testimony is. No man had seen God at any time. Well, Abraham, no man had seen. But Moses, no man had seen. But you know, David, no man had seen. But Isaiah, no. But you know, Jer no one had seen God at any time. But when Jesus enters the earth for the very first time, it says, it says in the Amplified Bible, it said, no one had seen God at any time, but Jesus brought him out <laughs> to where he could be seen for the very first time. And oh man, <laughs> let the gains begin. Why? Because the guardians of the galaxy 
they believed that Genesis through Malachi told you everything you need to know. <laughs> and Jesus told him, he says, you guys don't know. <laughs> you keep throwing that book at me and you don't understand it or anything about God. <laughs> You haven't the slightest clue. And he knew he couldn't argue Scripture to Scripture with him. Because to people who, who, to people who are connected to God, they go into the Scriptures and see past that which cast a shadow over God. But to people that don't know God, they take the scriptures and hold it up and project that shadow onto God. Which is why the use of the scriptures, as Pastor Dick I was saying last night, it's only as useful as it points us to the person of Christ. And if what we're reading and pulling out and creating doctrine takes us away from what we know to be true, about the person of Christ, we are misreading the map.